Hello again guys and welcome back to my channel. We are just about to check out of the Hilton and start our final day here in Iceland. And yeah, I can't lie, I'm sad about it. It's been so incredible. Probably the most incredible thing I've done in my entire life. So yeah, um, yeah. I've achieved a lot this holiday, a lot of fears have been conquered and we've seen some wonderful, wonderful places. <sighs> but we still have one more day here and it's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be a bit more chilled than what we have experienced the last six days, uh, but it's still gonna be amazing regardless. We are gonna head into Reykjavik town um, center or city <laughs> and we're gonna check out some of the cool things there. Um, I've seen a rainbow street which looks good and a cathedral which looks amazing um, and then we're going to head off to the Sky Lagoon a bit later so yeah really excited for that um, really excited for a chilled one and yeah let's get on with the day. So we have just got into Reykjavik and just to clear it up, it's a city, not a town, but it's a, the size of a town um, and it's the quietness of a town, which is lovely. Sorry, I'm just being careful not to slip because <laughs> it's quite icy here, but um, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful and yeah, it's like Christmas all year, isn't it? <laughs> seen it in all the photos and to see it in real life is something amazing ah, beautiful ah, literally guys it's amazing here we have loved our time and it's certainly something special And at the end of the Rainbow Street, you can see that beautiful cathedral in the distance. We aren't gonna head there now because we've got the lagoon to get to. Um, so we need to head on, but we'll come back here later. But yeah, just really wanted to show you this beautiful, beautiful street before it gets too busy, because I'm sure everyone wants to see it. So we are now gonna make our drive to the Sky Lagoon. Um, obviously you guys know, earlier in the week, we did have the Blue Lagoon booked, but we know how that turned out. Um, erupting volcano, <laughs> which you would have seen um, in the first vlogs. So yeah, we quickly uh, thought and booked up the Sky Lagoon, which is, yeah, another amazing place, hopefully. <laughs> We've heard it's great, um, so I'll give you a truthful opinion on that when we get there. So we're just gonna get in the car now and head there. I think it's about 20 minutes, so it's not too far. <laughs>
god guys we're just on our way and it's starting to snow <laughs> on our last day here as well <sighs> how incredible So we have just arrived to the Sky Lagoon. <laughs> I'm really excited for this guys, you've got no idea. <sighs> okay, so for those of you who are wondering, um, you book a time slot, ours is half past 10. So we've got about 20 minutes or so until it's time to go in. Um, but you book a time slot, um, and that's as much as I know so far. So I'm excited, really excited. Don't know what to expect. Don't know what the view's gonna be like. Don't know what it's gonna feel like. Um, yeah, exciting. <laughs> now, my thoughts are that it's gonna be really busy. And the reason why I think it's gonna be busy is because the Blue Lagoon is closed, as you know. So I'm gonna keep that in my mind. Um, and yeah keep my expectations at that um because yeah it's go it's gonna happen isn't it so yes let's just enjoy it i just love how everything is in like the middle of nowhere here back home everything is so built up and it ruins the beauty and the charm of the country so yeah that is definitely a massive appeal for me here um yeah honestly Oh, I've never known a country like it. Stunning, 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 stunning. And I can see in the distance, I don't know if you guys can, um, I can see the steam coming off and, oh my God, <laughs> that makes it so much more exciting. <sighs> it has just started snowing and it's chilly out here. So let's go inside and get warm. Okay, so just about to get changed, so I'll see you on the other side.
leaving the Sky Lagoon and I thought it was lovely. What did you think? Nice. Yeah, really, really lovely. Um, enjoyed every minute actually and well needed after that adventurous six days. <laughs> so inside they give you, I don't know if we filmed it, but they give you um, a body scrub which is lovely. Um, you also go in a sauna and then you have to sit in the steam room with the body scrub on. Um, and that was hard but lovely. Um, yeah, really, really nice. And then, yeah, finished with a nice hot shower. Um, delicious. <laughs> so we are just going to head back to Reykjavik where we were earlier and have a look around there. And I really want to see the cathedral. So we're going to go there. One thing I'm going to find really weird because I have done since like we've got back to the city after our adventures is the amount of cars and people. Um, yeah, it's a big difference, isn't it? From obviously driving through the mountains. Uh, yeah, you get used to it and yeah, I, I could get used to it. <laughs> Just got to Reykjavik, you can see the cathedral behind me and we're going to head down that way towards the Rainbow Street um, and yeah, take a look from there. <laughs> see something all in the photos and then you see it in the flesh. Wowzers. Wowzers. Don't forget, you gotta let go all you can. So as we pass the cathedral, which looks absolutely beautiful, <laughs> we are going to head down the road um, and see what's about. Gorgeous Christmas tree in front. Loving the snowy paths. <laughs> really, really loving it. Really loving it. And there's some traditional Icelandic food over there, guys. So we're heading down now. You guys saw it earlier. Um, and yeah, we're heading back this way to have another look. Do you know what? There's something about, oh, look at that view. <laughs> there is something about a European town, city. Um, it's just so clean, tidy. Um, the people are polite. Yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> I don't need to say any more because you guys know exactly what I mean. Um, yeah, oh, lovely. So you guys know how much me and Ash love cats. And there's a pet cat for this shot. How cute is that? Oh, bless. <laughs> Oh, 
How cute was that cat, guys? <laughs> if only England had that. Shops with pet cats. <laughs> How perfect. We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, it's a cafe. Oh, that looks delicious. Grilled cheese soup. Oh, grilled cheese and soup. Freshly baked cakes and cookies. Oh, lovely. Guys, look at this cute little window display I've just seen. I think it's part of the, yes it is, it's part of the cafe. And I saw you walking the line And the truth may come as a surprise And we have made it to the Rainbow Street. Oh, how beautiful is that? We got time on our side. I feel like this shop here would be definitely a shop my mum would love. She loves anything like this. Um, yeah, this is right up her street and it is super cute, so I don't blame her. <laughs> now, I've been looking at this and they do delicious food in here. Probably some of the best crepes I've seen, actually. Really, really lovely. Might have to try one of those in a moment. <laughs> We are just heading down now to the hot dog stand because um, we really fancy a nice landing hot dog. So yeah, we're going to go and grab that for lunch, um, which I can't wait for because I'm starving. <laughs> it's a miracle that you and I finally hear. I saw you. Two hot dogs and two chocolate milks. <laughs> Lovely. Taste test. What is the salt? Mm. It's like crunchy onions in it. Cute packaging, by the way. Really cute. I think it's meant for kids, but we're big kids, so it's fine. <laughs> Gorgeous. Lovely. <laughs> Excuse the hair guys, it's absolutely wild. <laughs> um, we are just heading up the road now. That hot dog by the way was delicious. Mm. And that chocolate milk certainly hit the spot. Um, but we are just heading up now to a cat cafe. So yeah, that is right up my street. Um, apparently you can't take other people's seats and by other people I mean cats so if a cat is on a seat you sit on the floor because <laughs> it's their house not ours <laughs> so yeah we're gonna head there now and I'm really looking forward to it So we have arrived, it says do not open the door if the gate inside is open, please read the cafe rules once inside. Oh, shall we head in? Hello. 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 So please do not pick up the cats. 
do not disturb the cats if they are sleeping. Children should be under supervision, well, that's not needed for us. Don't feed the cats, do not chase the cats. The cats are not allowed outside. Be, well, Nala doesn't either, so that's fine. Be careful putting your hands into their baskets, they might scratch or bite if startled. Okay. <laughs> Sleeping. So Ash has just got the drinks and whilst I've been sat here I've noticed that these cats like to use the wallpaper as their scratching post. <laughs> I mean thankfully Nala doesn't do that at home, <laughs> she just does the carpet. <laughs> but yeah, oh, the cats are so cute, they're just sleeping so as you would have seen actually in the clip so yeah. Um, looking forward to a nice warm coffee now because it's chilly outside so yeah. So we wondered what that sign meant. It's obviously Icelandic and Ash just spotted it on this thing. It says Mja, ma, maja, means meow in Icelandic so yeah. <laughs> Love that. So our drinks have arrived, Ash has got hot chocolate which looks delicious and I've got a hot coffee. I'm not going to lie though, his looks amazing and I wish I'd gone for that but you know me, I love my coffee so. And whilst I was looking actually, I read this, that this is the only cat cafe in Reykjavik and yeah, um, oh my god, cats may be Iceland like Icelanders favourites pets as dogs were banned in cities until the mid 80s. Most of the cats you see wandering downtown here have loving homes and just like to socialise outside. Oh my god I did not know that. Did you know that? Interesting. I'm <laughs> not <laughs> 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 Well, that was perfect <laughs> and the perfect way to end our time here in Iceland. Um, sad, I know, but we are just about to head off to the airport. Well, actually, no, we've got to drop the car back first and then head to the airport. So, yeah, well, it's been amazing. Um, really really amazing I've loved every single moment I've enjoyed every single experience and there's not a day that I've not loved so yeah Iceland amazing so guys let's head back to the airport in Keflavik and make our way back home to Gatwick London <laughs>
So we have just had the car washed as you have to bring it back in the same condition as you picked it up in, which is, yeah, absolutely fair enough. Um, so yeah, professionally done, which yeah, he's done a very, very good job. So yeah, thanks to him. Um, and now we're gonna drop it back. It's been an amazing vehicle. It really has. It's got us through those mountains, up to the glaciers, and I really want, I think we'll find out how many miles we've actually driven this trip because I reckon it's a lot and we'll let you know. But yeah, we'll be sad to drop it back. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing. So here we are guys, back to where we first started um, all those days ago and yeah. So here we are guys, back to where we first started our trip all those days ago and yeah, we are taking home a whole load of amazing, spectacular, cold memories and yeah, Iceland, what a place. Thank you. just dropped our suitcases through um, we're gonna head through to security now and yeah I'll catch you all when we're through hey guys so we have just got through to duty free um, and we are looking at a thank you gift for Ash's parents uh, for watching our little baby Nala whilst we were away. So thank you to them. <laughs> Nala loves her little holidays there as much as we love our holidays. So yeah, um, picking them up a little Icelandic gift. <laughs> What's that? We went there. Guys, do you remember we went there on the first day? <laughs> um, yeah, are we getting those for them? Lovely, everyone loves chocolate. <laughs> It is spotless here. Um, I mean, it has been the whole time we've been in Iceland, so I'm not shocked. <laughs> oh, I can't lie though, I am gutted to be going back. Um, obviously we love our house and we love Nala so, so much, um, but it's never good when you've got to leave somewhere so beautiful like this. Got everything you need? <laughs> not quite, I am starving. So definitely gonna grab something to eat. It is so quiet in this airport, literally. Back then, I could hear a pin drop. Um, it's lovely. <laughs> Definitely different to Gatwick. Although, when we traveled out here, Gatwick was what, really quiet as well. So, yeah, maybe it's just a quiet time of year to come. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely come away in February again. <laughs> So we are just looking for somewhere to eat. Um, there looks quite nice. Looks like they do like baked goods and stuff, um, which is always something I love. And they've got pizza. <laughs> um, nice hot drinks and stuff as well. Let's have a look around. <laughs> wow. Things changed really quick, didn't they? The Blue Lagoon shop. Well, this is as close as we're getting to it on this trip now, <laughs> but maybe next time. 
and then they've also got another restaurant which says global dishes by local heroes so oh that looks more like a buffet style oh they've got a salad bar that looks very nice oh, i think this looks really good so we've gone for this um as i fancy a burger and chips <laughs> So guys, this is what we've got. Pizza made fresh with some fries and we're gonna sit and eat it whilst looking out over the last piece of Iceland. So your final goodbye guys. So guys, we are just heading to the gate now. By the way, that pizza was delicious. <laughs> we are heading to gate D15 um, and then we're gonna board the plane back to Gatwick. Boo. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I'd rather the space. Same. Yeah, mutual. Yeah. He stinks. <laughs> 